So you, get, so you focus the night. I mean the day. It ain't night yet. So you focus some, some real new Greek stuff here. All right. I'm about to show you how to make some money. In order for you to learn how to make some money, one thing you got to understand is marketing. All right. If you're looking to make money on the internet, you got to understand marketing. Okay. You got to understand the basic stuff. Now I ain't talking about. Yeah, you can do this, try the strategy of something, and you can get the small term. Like, you can get the short term. Like, you can set up a campaign, and boom, it's winning. And then, next thing you know, it's shut down. That can happen. That's a trend. All right? That's how most people make their money. But, you know, I'm trying to get you to understand make money for it. Day in, day out, month after month, day after day, week after week. So, you can literally live off this, you know? But understand, marketing is one thing that you got to understand. First, then is online marketing, all right? All right, then once you understand that, now you understand marketing online, okay? And that's, that's only because I love you, bro. Don't share that link to nobody else, please. That's, uh, that's $4,000 worth of education. And uh, what it basically entails is Oh, I can't, I can't go that far. <laughs> All right, so that's one thing, marketing, and that's online marketing there, okay? That's the second thing which you got to do there. All right, now, once you understand this, then you can go into, all right, sales. Once you understand how to sell, now you know how to market. Now you know how to sell. Now you know how to do marketing online. Now you know how to sell. Now you know how to make money online okay now you know how to do those things all right because it's a simple fact that you understand this now a lot of people don't understand this stuff right here because they don't they don't know it they've never been taught it no one is teaching it a lot of kids just teaching you these methods and strategies and stuff like that but that's just strategies for the short term you know that that's not long term you know that's not going to win you uh days in days out that's short term stuff now, initially, what I want to show you here is this stuff for the long term. And the first thing we start with when it comes to marketing is understanding ads, all right? Then once we understand ads, then we understand, you know, uh, value-based content, all right? Yeah, I wouldn't even consider it a landing page, but that's where it's going to be put on. And then we understand offer, all right? That's offer one, all right? And then we understand, you know, offer two. All right, and this funnel can go on and on and on and on. I can go all day about that. That's once you understand the marketing side. That's once you understand the basic stuff. But a lot of you guys don't even know the five types of buyers. Now, I want to I want to ask you guys right now. What's the what's the uh, first type of buyer that that's searching the internet? If someone could tell me that, I give you a shout out right now. I mean. I want to know the first type of buyer that's searching the internet. A lot of people don't know. Like, literally, you don't know this, and this is a big factor of why you're not going to make anything. Uh, because you don't know the buyers. Like, you're not going to know. Like, do you need to know? Not really, but if you know, it's going to be a big beneficial to your success because you know exactly what kind of person you're dealing with now. Once you understand, you know, the five types of buyers here. All right, so... Uh, I think I'm going there. First type of buyer is initially a shopper. All right. This is first type of buyer. Shopper. These are going to be your people that's already searching the internet. They're already browsing through Bing. All right. These are going to be your people on Bing. They're going to be the people on Google. All right. They're going to be the people on YouTube. And the reason being is because of the simple reason that these people are actively searching. And these are impulsive, impulsive buyers, okay? Now, a lot of people don't know that there. What is a shopper? This is one type of buyer out of five, okay? This is an impulsive buyer. This is a person that's on being Google and YouTube. They're searching for reviews. All right, they're searching for uh, 
um, pills, okay? Weight loss. You're searching for a solution right now. So I don't have to put it right there. Searching for a solution right now. Now these type of people, you're not gonna have to email. This type of person, you're not gonna have to email. I mean, you can to get them to buy more stuff, but you're not gonna have to email this type of buyer. And that's one, those are gonna be the people that just buy. These are the people that give you the conversions. And a lot of people just don't understand that. All right, so if, if you're just shooting traffic to a landing page, and you get conversions, or you're shooting to offer and you get conversions, that's mainly what you're doing. You're just attracting shoppers. Now, if you understand it again, if you're not saying the right words, that's going to be the only type of buyer you attract. All right? If you're not saying the right words on your landing page, there's another impulsive buyer. All right? I'm going to go over that one. And a mentor, one of my mentors, he gave me this super, super easy acronym to remember the five types of buyers on. All right? Shopper is going to be just one impulsive type of buyer. All right, another impulsive type of buyer is going to be your friendlies. All right, friendlies is going to be an impulsive buyer that's can, that can be on Google, that could be on Facebook, social media sites, they could be on Facebook, uh, YouTube, um, blogs. Uh, they could be on, you know, sites like that. They could be on, they could be on Beam. These people are in La La Land, basically. And these are also impulsive buyers. Okay? A lot of people don't know that one there. And like, friend, that's another, um, that's another type of buyer there. That's a, that's a person that's going to buy impulsively. But a friendly is not going to buy impulsively like a shopper. What you have to understand is how to convert, how to basically sell upon this person. You have to really provide not a whole lot more value, but you have to show them levelly how a product or service can benefit them. That's the whole idea of a friendly. Okay? They can be impulsive also. They can be an impulsive buyer. Now, with friendlies, what you want to do in order to convert them is ask questions. Okay? If, if you don't, if you don't, uh, if you have, if you're not writing this down, I will prefer you to write this down by pausing the video, rewinding, or whatever, and writing this down. All right, an impulsive, this is going to be an impulsive buyer also, but what you have to do to them is, ink, is ask questions. And when I go over that, I go through over that through the the point of, you know, creating conversions inside the course and inside of, you know, the mastermind group. Uh, when it comes to converting these people, you have to ask questions. They're already going to say yes because they can't say no. When you see, when I say friendly, I want you to say yes, but cannot say no. That's what type of bar that is. All right. Another person is a cow. All right. A cow is not, not a big person. Don't let me ask you. This is going to be a person that may be on Facebook. All right. They may be on YouTube. They could be anywhere, just like a friendly. All right. These people most definitely could be on Beam. And they're ready to buy right now, but they might not can't. They probably have someone else keeping them from being impulsive. So a, a cow can be impulsive and they can be non-impulsive, all right? The, this type of buyer can be on both sides of the fence here. This person may want to buy right then and there, but they may have a significant other saying, hey, you can't buy that right now, okay? That's what, that's what keeping it. And I ha having that significant can't operate without significant other. That's what cow stands for. Uh, it basically means that you're going to have to have someone else to help them make that buying decision. You're going to have to have someone else to help them say, hey, 
Can I get this right now? It could be an accountant. It could be a spouse. It could be a, a daughter, a child. It could be a son. It could be, you know, a relative. It could be, you know, a, a friend. They, but what they need is validation from a second peer, a second person in order to make that buying decision. So impulsively, yes, they can get that. They, they, they may want to, but they may have non-impulsively if they need validation from a second person. All right. So these are the type of people that you're going to have to make email on. You may have to provide a little bit more value to them. You may have to come, come correct and with a clear point and they may want to buy. But them is not the people that you want to convince. It's wh whoever else that you, that they need validations from. Okay, and you may have to email them. Then you may not have to email them. All right. But I'm gonna tell you one of the hardest and most valuable customers um, that you're gonna completely hate. But if you can get this person to convert, you're in the game, buddy. Trust me, you're in the game. This this person, this person right here that I'm about to tell you, you most definitely would have to email this, this type of buyer. You would most definitely have to do retargeting on this type of buyer. What type of bad buyer is that? That is an adamant buyer. The hardest skull in the group, all right? The hardest head in the group. An adamant buyer is gonna be someone that you have to email because they're reluctant to change. Like for instance, a person that may Get Android phones may only like Android phones. They might not ever get an Apple. All right, a person that get Apple phones or iPhones might not never get a, get an Android phone. They're adamant. They're reluctant to change. These are going to be the people that you have to provide more value to. You have to provide a massive amount of value to. But once they switch, once they change, you got them. You got them for good. Once they change. But an adamant buyer? No. They're not going to just change just like that. They're not impulsive. These are non-impulsive buyers, okay? Where are they gonna be? They could be on Facebook, social media, all right? I kept saying Facebook, like that's the only social media platform, but just remember every time I say Facebook, I mean just social media, yeah? All right, they could be on social media. They could be on search, but it would be pretty tough see seeking them on search. It could be an email. Okay? They could be on YouTube. YouTube account as search, I mean as social also, because it is a social site. It's considered a social site. Alright? But even though it's a streaming site. Um, those, that's where an uh, impulsive buyer may be hanging out at. But with this type of person, you will most definitely, I can guarantee you, you will want to email this person. You're not going to get this person on the front door, first go around. You most definitely want to email this type of person. But once you get this person, they're going to spend the most amount of money, they're going to stay the most loyal to you, and they're going to be the realest customer you have. Out of all customers, this is going to be the customer that sticks with you. This is going to be the customer that spends the most money with you. An adamant buyer, all right? Take into consideration of that, all right? Non impulsive, the hardest one in the brunch to get, but once you got them, you got them, okay? Now, another type of buyer, is what I went over. When I went over, I went over shoppers, um, friendlies, adamant, cow, all right? What's, what's the next one? Um, rocket science. All right, a rocket scientist buyer. I, I'm pretty sure you guys can guess, can guess, you know, what a rocket scientist is. A rocket scientist buyer is going to be someone that knows more about the article than, the, than you writing it. They're going to know more about the topic of an iPhone than you selling it. They're going to know more about Verizon Bill or Whatever bill, then you can explain to them if you're the person that creates the bill. A rocket scientist buyer, what you have to do, the same thing as an adamant buyer, is provide this one thing called massive value, all right? That's what you're going to have to do, provide massive value to them. Because taking consideration, when I said before, people buy when value exceeds price point, people buy, all right? People buy when value exceeds price point. 
Is these three people hard to convert? Just as hard as the adamant fight. But what you have to do is provide massive value and come correct on these idiots because it's a simple fact they feel like they know everything. All right? But where these people going to hang out is they have the same problem. All of these buyers have a problem. All five of them. They all have a problem. But they all is... But with the last two, or especially this one, they're going to let their ego get in the picture. So what you have to do with this one is you have to indirectly sell to this person. Meaning, you have to let them... Uh-oh. Let them sell themselves. How do you do that? How do you let them sell themselves? Okay, I'm going to show you. Easiest way. Easiest way to let a person sell themselves, and again, I'm writing this as fast as I... I'm racing it as fast as I write it because, you know, I don't have a lot of time right now. Alright? How do you let a person like that sell themselves? Step by step. By step. Plan of action. Plan to solve. Problem. Okay? So you give them a clear... Define step-by-step -step solution to solve their problem. Not only that, you show them the steps. Not only that, you show them the results. That's how you get a rocket scientist to convert every single time. Why? Because you can't, anything you say, they're not going to believe it. Because they believe, you know, their opinion over yours, regardless, anyway. But in order to get that type of person to convert, is you simply have to understand how to indirectly, psychologically, mental, mental manipulate that person. They're not going to buy right then and there. They're just not. Okay? They're just not going to buy right then and there. Okay? Now, with that being said, you know, with those type of buyers, you just got to understand exactly which one you're playing with at what time. Because you can't promote rocket scientists and an adamant buyer the same way you can promote to a friendly and a, um, and a shopper. A shopper will take out their credit card and give it to you probably less than five minutes. An adamant buyer may take two, two days or three days before they make a buying decision. All right? Even if it's on a $5 item or a dollar item, it may take them time because they have to see the value in exchange for their dollar. They have to see the value first. With people, which people that's impulsive, they may, they may buy um, a whole lot faster. Now, I'm going to draw a T-chart here for you. And I'm going to name it Impulsive. Alright, I want you to take consideration of this. Impulsive people is going to be the people that, that you convert on the front end regardless. And non-impulsive are going to be the people that you have to email and follow up with, okay? I, I spelled impulsive so wrong just now. Like, I, I don't even know what I, what I was thinking just now. Uh, all right, non-impulsive. Okay. Now, a non-impulsive buyer is can be your shoppers. All right, the people that searching across Bing, Google, Facebook, they're searching for a solution already. All right, another type of buyer is going to be your friends. All right. You're going to understand exactly these people that can't say no. They only want to be like, hey, you want to go jump off a building? They can say, all right, sure. You want to say, hey, you want to go skating with us? Hey, shoot. All right, hey, you want to go get shot in the head with us? Hey, all right, cool. That's your friends. Because they can't say no to anything you send to them. Another impulsive buyer that's on the fence is cows. All right? These people may want to buy right then and there. They might can't buy right then and there, but they may want to buy right then and there. All right? But the thing is, you know, they need that significant other in order to make that buying decision. All right, now another type of buyer on the other side is non impulsive is your admin buyers. All right, if you don't got this again, I want you to write it down and, you know, just draw this down in your notebook or something of that nature. All right, if you're not taking notes and you're not, you know, if you're studying this stuff and you're not taking notes, trust me, you're going to lose it. Like, trust me, you don't know this stuff off the back of your hand just like that. Like, it took me three months to get half of, like, when it comes to sales, it took me like three to four months to really get this down here. All right? And I still have to refer back to my notebook on some of this stuff. 
Avid buyers is going to really going to be your buyers that you have to email. Most value, they're going to spend the most money, but you're going to have to email. You're going to have to do retargeting on it. Another type of buyer is your rocket scientist. All right, your rocket scientist. The rocket scientist, you, you'd be crazy if you're not emailing them. And the reason being is because, like I said, those two types, those two types of people right there, they have to, um, they have to uh, see more value. They have to see more value. Another type of person is your cows. Okay, your cows is initially people that's going to buy right in there, but let's say they significant other say no on the first go round. Then you got to email them more value. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I want you to write that down. Pause the video. You know, like it, hit the subscribe button, and all that good stuff. You know, follow me more and get the course. Get the course on this stuff. You know, I'm gonna leave a link below. And where you can go ahead and get the course and get inside my groups and stuff and learn a whole lot more about marketing, digital marketing, and, and actually getting results, getting building an audience, building a cult, building a following that can really bring substantial profits with it. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the future. Peace. Yeah.